user interface have implemented mouse over for all controls. As addition, it will show all related controls that it is connected to. For example, when I hover mouse over frequency modulation control, you can see that some additional parts are highlighted. This goes for all controls in this synth. You can also recognize related controls by color. Controls with small additional field are able to use MIDI Learn feature. Using right mouse button you can access menu where you can assign or remove existing controller. Choose Learn and move your MIDI controller to automatically assign proper MIDI CC number. To assign different control just hit Learn again and move different controller. All controls have default value that you can set by clicking on it while holding control on keyboard. There are two exceptions. One is amplitude control for wavetable layer and curve shape controls. Use left mouse click to reset them. You can also do more sensitive value setting for all controls by holding shift while adjusting the control. You can set size for user interface using zoom button. There you can choose the value based on your need and preferences. Part of the synth is wavetable oscillator. It is using two separate wavetables for blending. The idea was to avoid complex modulation matrix and use layers instead to shape the sound. The result can be controlled by velocity, manually using MIDI CC or a static value to blend those two layers to create more complex sound. You can see curve controls for many different parts. Default settings is linear. If you want to adjust dynamics and you wanted for example use layer B only on high velocity, you can easily adjust it. The same logic applies when you are controlling blend mode manually. Amplitude controls for oscillator and low pass filter on noise can be disabled. This means result have always same amplitude, no matter what velocity you have set on note. Having different curves for different controls is useful because you can control the amount of signal differently while using same MIDI controller or velocity. For example, you want to control frequency modulation using velocity, but you want to trigger it at different value. You can invert the curve, so the maximum value is applied on low velocity instead. When using velocity you see the description of control change to ceiling. This means you can define maximum value applied when reaching maximum velocity. Both layers include 118 different wavetables that can be combined and adjusted in different ways. Instead of having many different wavetables, you can use two additional modules to change the shape. Equal symbol after shape means this layer uses only one selected shape from included wavetables. However, you can change it and use additional multiplication, addition, or subtraction to change the shape. You can also use additional shaper to change it even more. There are three modes that you can choose. After choosing type, you can also choose value that affect level of applied effect. Green graph show original shape while white colors show applied effect to it. Each layer have its own combing filter. Now this is good time to present different approach to amplitude setting for each layer. Low notes have have lower amplitude. You can adjust it to match the high amplitude. You can even set the breakpoint if needed, but usually default value is best. Frequencies modulation have huge effect on sound while using comb filter. The same goes for wavetable shape. And of course shape used for frequency modulation affect the result a lot.
As addition, we have small modulation section for frequency modulation. For example, if you want to add small movement to the sound, you can set amplitude of modulation and speed. By default, speed is set to manual. You can synchronize the speed with host settings using sync option. You can choose from basic shapes or using included attractors for nonlinear ordinary differential equations that exhibits chaotic dynamics associated with the fractal properties. Each layer also have additional pitch envelope that can be used for different purposes. But they are very useful for percussive elements or kicks. Simple noise oscillator can be used as addition for example on percussive type of sounds. It have its own static high pass filter and low pass filter controlled by velocity. Main feature of Asper is to simulate round robins. It is trying to add small changes to the sound, so each hit is unique. The same goes for noise oscillator. You can clearly hear that each sound is bit different. Asper synths do this on oscillator level and this is applied per note. This means that even if you trigger more than one note at once, for example chord, each note will have slightly different sound. Let me show you another example and compare it to traditional stable synth sound. I will compare it to my old synth eclipses. Same sequence using same wave shape is to be played. All notes using same velocity to show it is not dependent on velocity. We will play just small part of pattern. First eclipses. And now Asper. You can really hear the difference. Since it is random, each loop is unique no matter how long you will repeat it. Let's try different shape without additional harmonics. Sign. As you can hear, even on sign, it sounds a bit different. This round robin emulation also caused some instability on oscillator and it sounds a bit dirty. This feature is always on and it cannot be disabled. Asper is more or less effects free synth, but it include two shapers and saturation. It have same option to alter curve and use it with velocity, MIDI CC, or a static effect. Several filters to choose from. You can choose parallel or serial mode for filter. If you use parallel mode while one of the filter is off you get dry signal added to the sound. Cut off control adjust frequency for both filters, but you have the option to adjust curve to adjust the base value of each filter. There is velocity mode to adjust filter amount based on note velocity for his filter. Ensemble module generate additional 16 voices that can be detuned to produce unison effect. Each of this voice can be delayed by small amount to simulate reverb like effect.
Decay option will affect amplitude of each voice. Without decay each voice have same amplitude. When turned on, each additional voice have lower amplitude to simulate fade out effect. There is additional feedback mode that feed those voice back to the input through all pass filter to create smooth transition between voices. You can pan, mix dry and wet signal independently to make additional change to the sound and stage. By default Asper is working in poly mode. You can switch it to mono to use portamento mode. You can set velocity threshold in order to control when you want to use different portamento time when playing. So for example with value 10, portamento, glide will be executed based on you setting every time note velocity is 10 or less. Otherwise mono mode is applied. In vibrato you can use different shapes if sign is not enough. You can also set delay so vibrato will be slowly added to the signal base on this value. Each part of synth have its own randomization. Randomize do not affect envelope settings. This way you can set every envelope to value you need and adjust only controls that affect the sound itself. There is additional random button to trigger all section of instrument. There is no randomization for saturation, shaper and noise oscillator. <laughs> 